BT will acquire EE4. 12.5 billion to become first quant play provider, by Sebastian Anthony. BT, one of the UK's largest providers of wireline telephone and broadband internet access, has agreed to acquire EE, the UK's largest mobile provider for 12.5 billion, about 19 billion dollars. The deal, which will see BT become the UK's first quant play provider. Telephone, wireline internet, TV, cellular, must still be approved by the UK regulators Ofcom in the Competition and Markets Authority. Bundled services are usually a good thing for consumers, they're good value for money, as long as you want all of the bundled services, but there's the risk that a reduction in competition will ultimately result in the UK devolving into US-style consolidation and monopolistic abuse. The deal, which is expected to be finalised by the end of the year, pending regulatory approval, will CBT acquire EE from Deutsche Telekom and Orange. EE is the largest mobile operator in the UK, with 24.5 million subscribers. EE also has the largest 4G and 4G LTE footprint in the UK. BT is one of the UK's oldest telephone and broadband internet providers, and has recently resurrected its IPTV service BTTV. By acquiring EE, BT, or should I say BTEE, will be able to offer various bundles that, hopefully, provide good value for money for the customer. Business-wise, the advantage of going triple or quant play is that you can usually reduce the costs of providing each service, while improving customer retention at the same time. Even if the download speeds are pretty poor at peak time, you'll stick around for the exclusive TV programming and decent cellular coverage. While it might be tempting to draw comparisons between this acquisition and similar mergers in the US, AT&T DirecTV and Comcast TWC, the market is very different in the UK. In the US, it's not unusual for a home or office to have just one or two options if you want access to the internet, mobile data, or cable TV. In the UK, unless you're after something very specific, you have a wide choice of nationwide providers. The UK has four nationwide mobile operators, O2, Vodafone, 3, EE, and many more MVNOs. BT's acquisition of EE should only improve the service that current EE customers receive. What might impact the UK's relatively free and open mobile market, though, is the impending acquisition of O2 by 3. Three's owner, the Hong Kong company Hutchison Wampoa, is reportedly trying to pick up O2 from Telefonica for a round. 10 billion, 15 billion dollars. If the acquisition goes ahead, 302 would become the biggest UK mobile network by some margin. It's also worth pointing out that Sky, which is currently the UK's largest triple play operator, internet, telephony, TV, recently inked a deal to piggyback on O2's network so that it can go quant play as well. The UK regulatory bodies will investigate whether these deals are ultimately a net gain for consumers. And I'm sure Vodafone, the UK's other big mobile operator that isn't involved in any of these deals, will have a lot 